Hey everyone, in this video I will show you how to install SciPy to the PyCharm IDE. First, I just want to speak a little bit about what SciPy is. SciPy essentially puts the very useful NumPy package that we have been learning about and puts it on steroids. By this I mean we gain access to a lot of commands and classes that allow us to better utilize and understand our data. Now, to add SciPy to our PyCharm IDE, we must first open our Python file in which we want to import SciPy. Then, we go to New Project Settings and select Preferences for New Projects. From here, on the left menu bar, you should see Project Interpreter. At the top, you should see Project Interpreter. Just go ahead and select the one in which you need SciPy for. Please note that if you select the incorrect one, you will not be able to import SciPy. You need to make sure the location you are working corresponds to the interpreter that you select here in the menu. So, once we pick our project interpreter, let's go to the small plus sign in the bottom left corner. Now, we are going to search for SciPy package. Then select SciPy and click install. Now, we should be good to exit the screen once it shows you that the package has installed correctly. Let's just type a small piece of sample code that ensures everything is working correctly. This sample code is just a simple integration, which is one of the many things we can do now in SciPy. Let's type from scipy.integrate import quad. This just imports the part of our newly installed SciPy package that will allow us to integrate a function. So let's create a simple function that we want to integrate. Let's say 4x to the power of 2. Then we need a simple function that will interpret our string function as a proper mathematical expression. Now, we need to call the quad python function, which allows for a basic simple integration. So, we put quad, our function of interest, and our two bounds of our definite integral. Then, we can just print the result of the integration, and there we go. We just completed an integration using SciPy. The first result here is our area under our curve, and the second number is the error of this integration, since it uses numerical methods and not analytical methods. I hope this video helped you install SciPy into your PyCharm IDE. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our YouTube memberships by clicking that join button down below. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to address your concerns.